In this video, I'm going to show you how Pavin ran the best gun bunch offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. So if you're looking to become better at Madden alongside of me, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And the reason why I want you to hit that subscribe button is so that you don't miss any of these videos. We release several videos every single day and so if you're not careful you might miss a very important video that could help you win more games or teach you a concept that you could use to become a better Madden player. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that button at the bottom of the screen. Okay, guys, so Pavin came out slinging in the Madden Club Championships. And I think everybody can agree that the way his offense worked, the way that his gun bunch really, really worked for him was incredible. He played incredible. He did a great job both on the offensive side and the defensive side, I felt like. But his offense at the end of the day was was really his his best asset and so uh, I wanted to dive in today to give you two or three setups that he used a, a, a ton uh, in this tournament that really really helped propel him um, in my belief to the semi or to the club championship finals and something that you can learn a little bit about it so all that to say go ahead and click that subscribe button we're going to dive right in if you have any questions my number will pop up on the right hand corner of your or the bottom, top left hand corner of your screen so you can always text me, but let's just jump right in real quick here. So, all that to say, we're going to talk about the New York Jets gun bunch. Now, this is probably, uh, in a lot of people's mindsets right now, this is truly the best gun bunch in the game. And the reason why it's the best gun bunch in the game is because it's super, super simple. It's super simple, but it gives you a couple of routes that are really, really worth um, using uh, both against man coverage and against zone coverage. Now, a lot of double A gap and three through five normally uh, in this game, uh, but what we're going to talk about is two things in particular, two plays in particular that he was able to use that really, really, really worked well for him. The first play that we're going to talk about is the play Jets Dig. This was his number one play. This was his play that he probably ran this playbook, obviously ran this playbook for this play. Uh, this play is amazing. It's it's an incredible play. It's incredible against man. It's incredible against zone. Now, what young Tony was doing was a defense very similar to 3 through 5 uh, and that is basically he was essentially creating a double a double a gap type of look right here right just something like this with that shaded coverage you know shaded coverage down man to man coverage you know and basically young tony was essentially going to stand and use his a gap over over the middle now what pavin was doing that i thought was just brilliant was a setup very similar to something like this right here essentially we would take the uh, he had a hot rub master on Rich Gannon, of course, running a Raiders steam team like most people. But he was essentially using a corner route to Antonio Brown. He was using a drag route with Mike Evans. Now, this receiver would have had playmaker in Mutt, so he could playmaker him all over the field. And then he had this, essentially this little uh, stock fade route. And this motion over of this fade route got it to be unbumpable. And if it was cover zero, there was a good chance that, that Pavin was going to be able to get this ball over the top of the defense. This was really his core uh, go-to play that I thought really propelled him a ton. That was one of his primary routes that he was able to use to be very effective because what it did was it forced people who wanted to play that that kind of heavy blitzing meta uh, where they basically you know where they basically are just consistently putting the gas on you? Um, it forced them to to really have to reevaluate their strategy. Uh, so again, you'll see right here this is the, the the a gap look that we were seeing. And again, you you would see something like this. You know, more than likely it would be uh, something like this. And the reason why. And do this is like let's say you know you could send you could basically send heavy pressure if they blocked a running back you could send heavy pressure with <coughs> with this defense so all that to say you know that's kind of what you know that's kind of what um, what uh, young Tony was doing so Pavin's answer to this because again you have to have your user kind of in this area his answer to this is 100% to use this fade route so essentially what that boils down to is I'm going to block both I'm going to basically max protect put that corner route out there, 
and then I'm going to drag that backside guy in this motion over and make sure you snap him while he's in motion. But if you get that snap right, oftentimes you're going to be able to basically swerve catch him. And as you can see, this is a nice little one play touchdown against cover zero. So the answer to cover zero, <coughs> excuse me, an answer to cover zero that a lot of people don't have right now. Now the next setup that he would run, and I love this setup. This setup is amazing, especially in mutt. If you have, um, if you have a receiver that can really, really, you know, that can really, really do a good job. So uh, the reason I say that is because most people don't have that. Most people in regs aren't going to have like a receiver that has 90 route running. You really need a receiver that has 90 route running. Um, to be able to really maximize what this setup can do for you. And I'm going to give you two in particular ways to run this that is going to be really, really effective. So the first way is a max protect setup. The second way is a zone setup that has sends a little bit more people out on a route. So the max protect setup is very, very simple. What you're going to see here is this is, you know, again, primarily for people that are, are going to be, you know, blitzing the crap out of you or something like that. So here's how you do it. This is the play mesh. And again, we want to run this to the wide side of the field. So we always want to run our bunch receivers to the wide side. So if we're on the left hash, we run it like this. If we're on the right hash, you'd want to flip this. All we're going to do is we're going to smart route the corner route. Now you see it gives us this nice, sharp angle, this sharp cut. And what Pavin did that I absolutely thought just was so, 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 so smart was he motion snapped this route, which was really, really cool. So anyways, all that to say, we're going to block the tight end, we're going to block the running back, and then we're going to take our slot receiver. And he would put him on a post route. Now, I personally would recommend putting him on a crosser, but Pavin was putting him on a post route every single time. So this motion out of Antonio Brown, what it's going to basically do is, let's say it's zone coverage, it gets him away from the zone. Now right there, Brady made probably the worst pass of his in his Madden career. He did not was not able to get the ball over the top there. But as long as you have a good quarterback, um, it's you know specifically like if you have a quarterback that has gunslinger, that's what's going to really really help this play a lot because gunslinger is going to help kind of get the ball in just a, a better placement. But if you don't have gunslinger, it's okay. You can still make this throw. You just have to practice again. Just a little bit of a motion out here, and then again we're just getting that out to the sideline, and that's what we're looking for right there. Now that is a max protect setup. Now let's say um, let's say they're doing the meta man man coverage. And this is why it's so good. This is why this play is so special. Because if they're playing man to man, the meta man man coverage, they're going to be shading coverage down. They're going to be trying to press you. Well, because this this route can be motioned out, you can't press the route. You're not going to be able to get a jam on this route. That's what makes it so special. So again, motion him out. He's not going to get jammed. And you see here, I can basically pass that up, click on, and get over the top of that player. Now, if that receiver has better route running, you know, that's where it can really, really uh, be effective. It's not super, super effective in regs. It's really a mutt route, in my opinion. There's some routes that are just really, really good in mutt that aren't that great in regs. This is one of the. This is an example of one of those routes. Um, in regs, this is not always going to get open against man coverage, but in mutt, it will almost always get open. You'll see here. Sometimes it will get open. And again, this pass lead up. You see, that's the rack animation that we're trying to get. So you swerve, catch the receiver, and really try to get open. All that to say, that's its setup against man. Now let me show you the setup against zone. It's the same setup against zone, but this is where this play really shines, in my opinion. Against zone, this route, what I would what I would tell you to do is to go ahead, if you're going to send five people out on a route, to go ahead and streak Chris Godwin right here, and then to go ahead and take Gronkowski. You can put him on an out route, or you can just leave him on his flat route, and then literally just do it just like this. This setup is insanely good against cover three. Cover three is not going to have a chance to stop this route combo. This route combo is insanely good against zone coverage and the reason why is because of the most recent patch to Madden 21. Essentially those outside thirds are going to really practically um, play like this you know this outside um, outside deep half and the reason you don't necessarily even have to put a flat zone out there you could still run the max protect setup it's just I would recommend having a streak on your field um, just so that you can do that right there as you can see I mean this thing is absolutely insane it's so 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 good against zone coverage that corner route is really really hard to stop it doesn't matter really what they do zone drops don't stop it um, you know really the only thing that can stop it is man coverage now we're gonna talk to you in another video today 
about another setup that you can use from Z Spot that will make this even better. But again, this is zone coverage, and as you can see, you're going to be able to beat that coverage. Last thing I want to show you about this is this used to be a cover three bomb. Now it's not so much a cover three bomb because of how it's defended. So uh, you could go to this Jets dig play and you could essentially run a setup very similar, right? You could do put a corner out out there, put a drag right out there, and you could basically run it just like this. And a lot of times this R1 route would beat the cover, the cover three. But as you can see now, they kind of defend that much better. So all that to say, the mesh setup, in my opinion, is the way to go. It's the best way to, to use this. But this is how Pavin used this offense. Now, there's other things that he did, right? He would audible to, um, he would audible to other formations. One of the other formations that he would audible to is this trips tight end offset, and he would use these RPOs. Now, he would oftentimes use the buck sweep. In my personal opinion, he should have used the, um, the the RPO trap. I think the RPO trap was a little bit better of a run, and he didn't use it as much as he used the buck sweep. The other thing he would do is go to this PA boot overplay, and you would see this setup a lot. I actually really like this setup. If you use a backside kind of curl flat concept here, um, this is a really, really good setup to have. So anyways, guys, that's how he ran it. If you want to get my full gun bunch offensive scheme, that is in my text message membership. So all you got to do to pick that up is just shoot me a text message. My phone number is 812 216 Three six four four. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little bit about Gun Bunch and a little bit about what Pavin was doing that really propelled him to a very, very high level uh, in the Madden community right here. So this guy's a beast. This guy's won a lot of money for himself and is locked in at a very high level. So that is how he was running his Gun Bunch offset. And if you want to get more on the Gun Bunch, go ahead and text me. My number is 812 216-3644. It's also in the description, and we'll see you on tonight's live stream right here on our channel at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.